146 top executives urge Biden to prevent U.S. default warns of disastrous consequences. A total of 146 executives from major companies in the U.S. have jointly written an open letter to President Joe Biden and congressional leaders urging them to take swift action to save the U.S. from defaulting on its debt obligations. Among the letter signers are Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon, Morgan Stanley CEO James Gorman, NASDAQ CEO Adina Friedman, Guggenheim Partners Executive Chairman Alan Schwartz, and Pfizer CEO Alberta Borla, I think. Addressing President Biden's Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, and House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, the executives wrote, We write to emphasize the potential disastrous consequences of a failure by the federal government to meet its obligations. Absence of resolution, the government is likely to run out of money as soon as June 1st. Action to end the pending debt crisis is necessary now. Failure to resolve the current impasse could easily have more negative consequences. Although the American economy is generally strong, high inflation has created stresses in our financial system, including several recent bank failures. Much worse will occur if the nation defaults on our debt obligations, which would weaken our position in the world financial system. Large amounts of our $31 trillion debt are held by pension funds, individuals, and other governments, they noted. The inability to incur new debt would also threaten the government's ability to pay its other bills, potentially including some payments to Social Security or Medicare recipients. This cannot be allowed to happen. We strongly urge that an accord be reached quickly so the country can avert this potentially devastating scenario, they concluded. U.S. Treasury Janet Yellen has warned that the Treasury may not be able to pay all of the government's bills as early as June 1st. The Congressional Budget Office similarly estimates that the U.S. could default on its debt obligations in the first two weeks of June. President Biden is confident that he can reach a deal with Republicans on the debt ceiling. Meanwhile, a group of Senate Democrats is reportedly circulating a letter urging him to prepare to invoke the 14th Amendment to unilaterally resolve the debt ceiling standoff. I'm confident we'll get the agreement on the budget and America will not default. We're going to come together because there's no alternative way to do the right thing for the country. We have to move on. The debt ceiling, the debt ceiling, the debt ceiling. If it's not one crisis, it's the other, right? Bank runs, inflation. It's almost as if the U.S. government uses the debt ceiling as a crisis to pass things through that wouldn't usually pass through. This is not the first time a debt ceiling crisis has happened. This is like the 83rd time it's happened. I ain't that old, but I remember them doing it year in and year out. And every single time they come to a resolution, it may be the case they don't on this one. This is how I do think it will play out though. It's gonna come down to the wire. So Biden's gonna come back from G7 and it's gonna be an expedited all hands on deck rush to get the debt ceiling agreed upon. I don't think they'll come to an agreement. However, I do think they will go through with this, with this 14th Amendment method, which will basically, in unordinary circumstances, allow, maybe, the Democrats legally to pass the debt budget. I think this is beneficial to the Republicans because if the Democrats are to do this and inflation starts running out of control, they, they aren't held accountable for it at all. It will be all optically in the Democrats' lap. But that will also make a lot more sense as to how crypto alternative dollar assets will rise in price dramatically. The second leg I've been talking about for so long, one way or the other, this debt um, default is going to be big and have big implications for the U.S. economy. If they do pass it, then guess what? More inflation is coming. If they don't pass it, we default and then they have to print and then more inflation is coming. Either way you look at it, I believe more inflation is coming. Bad for the dollar, good for crypto.